Helper. I want to thank our 100 subscribers. Um, this is how how to clean a cage. This is the most requested, so we wanted to do it. Okay. First, when you're gonna do it, you want to take a big towel. So you just want to place it on the ground. Once you place, okay, and once you place it on the ground, you want to take your cage and you want to take your garbage, garbage bag, your garbage bag, any size will do. Yeah, because you don't really want to use that much of a big bag. Once you open your bag. Um, you're gonna unhook these two. Oh, we used um, the smaller cage because usually people have smaller cages than big cage. So once you unhook these, you want to take this out, put it to the side, and lift it up. It's gonna be a little hard. And just lift it up like this. And then you're gonna take it and then sorry. Yeah, that it flips down. <laughs> and then you just want to dump it in and put it to the side. One sec. When that when that happens, you're gonna unhook the two bottom things, and unhook this, and you're gonna lift this up. Put that on the ground. And I'm just going to take the rest uh, off. And you can cut this out. Okay. okay. As you can see, this is where he goes to the bathroom. Because it's a darker color. Because hamsters are really... Um, healthy and so they keep all their urine and poop in one place so you just want to take out all their toys and you just want to take it like that and just dump it out. that his urine sticks to that side you just want you can spray spray it down and with like your hose or sink sink sorry about that and just dump it out so I'm gonna do that right now and once that's done you're just gonna um, Fill your tub with soap and water. Um, you can use like dish soap or something, um, or you can spray.
spray with disinfectant um, stuff you can get at Petco or something and just spray it, rinse it out, and then dry it, which is faster. But since I don't have it right now, um, we're going to do it the put it in the tub and wash it. So I'm going to put it, all the stuff in the tub. Once this is all in water, you, you can just let it sit in there, or you can scrub it out like that with like a handy wipe, which I'll show you. Make sure the water temperature is at least warm to hot. You can use a handy wipe like this looks like this which helps or you can use um, sponges I like using this because it's really strong okay what you're going to do you're just going to dip it in and you're just going to take and scrub every item for the longest about I mean for like the shortest about one minute to get all the germs off and then once that done you're going to start building again Remember to get into the tight spaces or in this, this kind of way because, well, as you can see, they can crawl in this to get to the top. And you don't want any germs. Make sure to clean um, this part the most because this will have the most germ. Remember to wash your hands afterwards because the germs can, can stick to your hands obviously. So wash your hands really good after you clean your hamster cake. And yeah, as she said, clean this the most and make sure to get that corner and make sure to get everything out of it. Baby got a big up, little mocha.